What is up guys? So how do you use Grid Snap and what is it used for? First go to Game Scene or whatever you want to go to. You can access Grid Snap by actually typing it in right here or pressing it right here. Pretty much from here you can actually make your lines finer to where you can move more flexibly without the within the Grid Snap. What the Grid Snap is used for is pixel art and it's also used to see a top view and bottom view of what you're creating. That way you can easily make sculptures uh, more more architectural if that's a word so if i was to place this here make sure you're in stamp mode so that way you're only placing one down if i was to place that there then i can basically mo move to the top by using the left the right analog stick and now i can see the top view then i can go up and down i can go up and down by using the left analog stick and just going up and down it may be inverted it may not be, but it may also feel inverted. You can also stretch these things out. You might have to stretch it out by going this way, and then you can stretch it out, and then you can also make it wider if you need to. Thus, you can see a top view of your angles, and then pretty much mess with it that way. To me pretty much move around, you'll be using the left analog stick, and then just to rotate it to move, change the way you're moving, just use the right analog stick to change the camera view because pretty much the imp will move towards the camera so whenever I'm going left and right this way I'm going left and right but if I go left and right this way then I'll go left and right that way and it should pretty much do it perfectly you can actually go into a different mode called precise mode to make things more precise you can read more about it I'll let it pop up but pretty much this can be used to actually make better drawings if you learn how to use it. And it's also used to pretty much, um, I think, see other lines or see where you're actually dragging things from. So I think if I was in move mode and if the grid snap is on, I'm not sure if you can have grid snap on with that. Grid place, let's see here. You can do stuff like this. And you can pretty much see where you're actually dragging things from to where you can pretty much, you know, kind of like map it out. You can use up and down to actually change the size of things if you wanted to do it that way. And I believe there's a way to make it to where things stay upright. And if you do it this way, you should be able to see those lines. So let me make sure I know what all I have. I have this down, this down and you can change the axis of it. So that's how you see the green with that. And what you'll do if you want it to actually stay more in place is just change the uh, size of the grid snap. And then the object should stay more in place and you can make it perfect with the green lines. You can see where it's moving from and how it changed. And then just go up and down while, you're, while you don't have it up. Uh, held on to otherwise it'll change the uh, focus or you know the angle of the object unless that's what you're going for so now what I'll show you guys how to do is actually make pixel art I have a video about it but just in case you guys didn't want to actually go to that video what you want to do is make a canvas and pretty much this will work as our canvas to pretty much where we're actually going to be placing the stuff onto so what you'll want to do after you actually created a canvas and made it big enough, you'll actually want to exit out of everything, go into paint mode, and pretty much press, press surface snap. This will make it go straight onto the surface to where you can make pixel art. You'll want to change the color up here. You might want to press it twice because sometimes it doesn't change. And then pretty much you can look at your pixel art to make the lines finer to where you know it's more flexible throughout. You can just change the size of the grid. To change the flicks and any kind of dimension within the flicks, you can mess with it here. If it's too scattery, just turn it down. And then you should be able to have perfect flicks. And then you can also change your brush up here to where if you wanted to mess with something else, then you can change it right here. If you if they might they might end up making something that's more for pixel art and then just these squares. But I usually use heavy for the squares, but there might even be something better than that. And you can make some pretty abstract art too. You can make trees if you wanted to and stuff like that. 
by changing the color and it's pretty simple actually so right there we and you again you might have to press it twice like i just had to right here we actually have a good tree that we can make um we want to add some actual more depth to it pretty much make one side of the tree darker we can do that and you can also um, blend or merge um you can merge the painting after you're done with it so that's pretty much that let's see here And it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. To delete lines like this, to delete all uh, things, what you'll have to do is actually, you see the surface back there? Well, whatever color that is, go to your paintbrush mode and then actually click on this color picker, then click that, whatever color that is. And then you can kind of delete lines, kind of, by doing that, as you can see. And that kind of works. Um, you might want to change the brush type, but it kind of works, as you can see. Um, you can change the finishes to make it a little bit better. And that's really the only way that I've figured out how to delete lines. There might be something in the future that makes it a little bit easier. But for right now, that's how I delete lines for the most part. And then um, that's pretty much it. Feel free to check out my other tutorials and stuff like that. Um, tutorials like how to make music, how to sculpt, how to uh, make games in 20 to 30 to 40 minutes or less. All that's on the playlist on my channel if you want to check out individual playlists. So thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and go back into Grid Snap and see if there's something else. I'm still not sure where Tentacle Snap is, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this. Oh, this is good for painting. So I guess you don't even need to make a, a, a canvas. I guess you can just use Tentacle Snap. So that's how you can do that. Just use the tentacle snap for paintings and that should instantly snap it to a surface. Uh, let's go ahead and test it. Oh yeah. Definitely works. So use that for paintings. And then you have mirror mode and kaleidoscope mode. Pretty much, you can see the kaleidoscope, it's making more kaleidoscope-like objects. To where if I was to go up or down, you could kind of see the flower that's being made. And then you have mirror mode, pretty much it's a mirror. It's not cool with the kaleidoscope, but whatever happens on this side happens to the other side. And then studio lighting, make everything that color. And that's pretty much the grid snap menu. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my playlist on my channel for individual research on individual topics. Thank you so much.